This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Citrix. What's going on guys, I'm Mark Sanger from Techno Buffalo, and I don't know about you guys, but I do not like TouchWiz one bit. I jump back and forth between the Note 4 and the Nexus 5 often, and every time I go back using TouchWiz, I immediately remember why I prefer the stock Android experience. Now that's a huge bummer too, because the Note 4 is such an awesome device. With that being said, we're gonna try to replicate stock Android on the Galaxy Note 4. This will work with pretty much any Android device that comes with an OEM skin, whether that's from LG, Sony, or HTC. So first, we're gonna need to install a custom launcher. Now, a custom launcher is basically your home screen. It's where your icons and widgets live. Now, you have two options for this launcher. You have the Google Now launcher, which is Google's personal launcher, but if you want a bit more customization, then go ahead and use Nova Launcher. You can find both of these launchers on the Google Play Store. Both launchers are free, but with the Nova Launcher, you can buy the Prime version for $4, which includes unread counts, ability to hide apps, and more. So taking a look at the Google Now launcher first, it's pretty plain. It works just like any other ordinary launcher. You'll be able to add widgets, multiple pages, add your icons, etc. You can also get the Google Now page to the most left of your home screen, which is great if you use Google Now on a daily basis. You won't be able to change your icon packs, which is kind of a bummer. This is as close as you'll get to stock Android. If you want to fine tune your home screen and tinker with your device for hours and don't really care about the Google Now page, check out Nova Launcher. Now this is my go-to launcher if I want to customize my home screen. And just like any launchers, you'll be able to add widgets, have multiple pages, and you'll be able to use custom icon packs, which is great. Now currently I'm using the Moonshine icon pack alongside of stock Google's icons for my home screen. I've highlighted Moonshine several times already in past videos. It's great for replicating Android Lollipop's icons and the best thing about it is it's free. Now I'm using Nova Launcher more than the Google Now Launcher for a couple of reasons. Number one, I have the flexibility to customize my home screen and use icon packs. Number two, I can replicate the Google Now Launcher to a certain extent. Now even though I don't have the Google Now page on the most left of my home screen, I still have access to Google Now. Number three, I can still activate Google Voice Command by just saying, okay Google, and it works flawlessly. Number four, I'm using Nova Launcher Prime, and since I'm using that, I can hide unwanted apps and bloatware in an app drawer. And number five, since I'm using the Note 4, I can press and hold the home button for the Google Now page. So let's talk about how you can achieve this look. First, go to your Nova Launcher settings pane, click desktop, change the grid to 4x4 and uncheck subgrid positioning. Go back, click persistent search bar and hit lollipop. Go to scroll effect and choose none and go back once more and go to the drawer. Change the color to the background to white and transparency to zero. Check show pages as cards, Go to scroll effects and choose none. Transition animations to circle. Go to tab style and choose small tabs. Go back once more. When you go to look and feel for the icon theme, I chose moonshine. You could use another icon pack if you'd like, but I chose to go with this one. Change the icon size to 115%. Change the icon font to normal and app animations to slide up. Last but not least, there's OK Google. Just enable that and you should be all set. Moving forward to the lock screen, there weren't really a lot of options that could replicate Lollipop's lock screen. I actually ended up using a lock screen that didn't have to do anything with the word Lollipop, and it's called High Locker. Now, as silly as that sounds, it works really well. Make sure to change the unlock style to Lollipop before you start using it, and also change the clock style to the third option so you can get the same look. High Locker is free with a few premium options for the weather and clock, though it's really not necessary to buy the premium version if you don't want to. So what's cool about this lock screen is you'll be able to change the dialer and camera shortcuts to whichever app you want. Now I have the dialer set to a custom app called Simpler Dialer, which sort of replicates the look of Android Lollipop's dialer. And the other one I have set to the Google camera. Of course you can choose not to do this, but since we're trying to get rid of most of Samsung's own apps, this is the best way to go in my opinion. Now you'll be able to see notifications and Google Now cards on the lock screen, although you won't get Lollipop card style notifications. You can swipe to dismiss or launch them, which I found to be very useful. You can also set a security pattern or a code to add a layer of security. And there are a few lock screen alternatives I've tried in the past that just fails at security. This one works flawlessly, however. Also, you can add a trusted Wi-Fi connection to unlock your device right away if you are connected at home or at work. Let me stop the video for just a quick second and thank our friends over at Citrix. With GoToAssist Remote Support, you can provide live or unattended support to any computer or mobile device. Sign up today for a 30-day free trial, no contract, no credit card needed. Visit GoToAssist.com and click the Try It Free button now. And since everybody loves free stuff, if you buy the annual plan before March 31st, you'll get a Samsung Galaxy Tab 4 as well. So. 
That's cool. Now in terms of app, there's a few you can download from the Google Play Store that can essentially replace Samsung's own apps. The Google Camera app, for example, is a really good alternative to Samsung's own camera app. The calendar from Google, which looks amazing and it has that material design look. You can also download Google's Messenger app, which is a great alternative to Hangouts, giving you the same material design elements as the calendar app. I also downloaded some third-party apps like Simpler Dial and Contacts. The dialer, which you saw earlier, sort of looks like Android Lollipop's dialer, and if you want to view your contacts, you'd have to download the Simpler Contacts, though everything works flawlessly after downloading both. I also downloaded Material Calculator and Clock L just to give the Calculator and Clock app that same material design look. And that's pretty much it. Unfortunately, you won't be able to change the status bar or the settings app, but this is as close as you'll get to stock Android look on TouchWiz without really rooting your device or switching ROMs. Some of Lollipop's functionality is in here, like the lock screen notifications, but it still looks way better than Samsung's own skin. Now, the great thing about this is you'll still be able to use all of Samsung's features like the S Pen, multi-window mode, ultra power saving mode, and other Samsung features as well. Everything is still snappy, maybe even snappier than before, and once we get Android Lollipop on the Note 4, it should look even better. Anyways, that's it for this video, guys. If you guys have any questions or suggestions for which apps we should check out for the Note 4 to make it even better, let us know in the comments down below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button right here, and I'll see you guys in the next one.